Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, that says 70 plus Christmas DIYs. So grab some coffee or some soda pop, get comfy with a blanket, let's get started. DIY number one. If you like rustic country and just outdoorsy scenery, this DIY is for you. Using Dollar Tree little reindeers and trees and a round wooden disc from their wooden section, I just created a really rustic country scene. So let's sit back and listen to some Christmas music as I show you what I did. DIY number two, staying with that rustic country Christmas, we're going to make a little reindeer head plaque. And again, Dollar Tree items. These projects are so easy to make, so inexpensive, and just bring so much joy to your Christmas decor. <laughs> So I can't wait for Christmas and I hope you guys are going to really enjoy this. Um, this was a fun vis video to put together. This is my YouTube journey right here in Christmas style. <laughs> so it's a full video compilation of every Christmas video I've ever done. And the good, bad, and the <laughs> very old. <laughs> So some of these videos are like from the first few months that I had my YouTube channel and was just learning and oh my gosh, so many memories. So I hope you enjoy this little reindeer plaque. He's so stinking cute. DIY number three, one of my favorites, using old Christmas popcorn tins. Um, I had quite a few of these up in the attic. Empty them out, clean them up, paint them, um, and oh my gosh, you can do so many things with these. I actually did a fall video using these popcorn tins. So on the back of these is a fall like design and then on the front of them is Christmas so they're actually good for the fall and Christmas season so I just use shelf paper um, that look like wood and I just use stencils and paint and my silhouette cameo just to make these tins more farmhouse country and fit my style more than just that generic popcorn tin. <laughs> so don't throw those popcorn tins away because these are so cute when they're done.
I forgot to mention at the beginning that all of these videos are on my Christmas video playlist. If you would like to see the full video, um, you can go over to that playlist and check them out. So let's keep going these, with these cute little popcorn tins. DIY number four. I absolutely love this little snowman. I made him out of craft sticks and some large popsicle sticks. Kind of like a shutter looking snowman. Oh my goodness. He is so stinking cute. And you can use him in your decor. You can use him as a Christmas ornament. Um, you could make a man and a woman snowman and have two little uh snowman lovebirds <laughs> these are so easy to make so simple so cute and affordable DIY number five. This is a sign that I had inspiration. I saw a similar sign at actually Big Lots and I knew I could recreate it. And their sign um, said, I love you to the moon and back. But I thought for Christmas, it would be fun to make a sign that says, I love you to the North Pole and back. And again, it was with Dollar Tree items so simple and easy to recreate this sign. I do use vinyl um, lettering from my Cameo machine, but you can freehand, I love you to the North Pole and back so easy. Use a stencil or transfer. There's other options besides using a vinyl uh, cutting machine.
DIY number six. I love unique and different. I love thinking outside the box. So I used a plunger and some of the, I don't know what you call this. It's not garland. It's the Do Dollar Tree sells these like branches um, to make any kind of Christmas decor like fuller or their trees which are really sparse fuller um, they're just wired branches and I just cut them down to size and glued them on that plunger then I took a couple more and twisted around the ones I already had on there to secure them and just turn this into the cutest little flat plunger Christmas tree ever um, to top it all off I took some white paint painted a little bit of the leaves to make it look like a flocked Christmas tree. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? Happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you DIY number seven is great if you have some spare wood laying around that you're not sure what to do with. I have a Christmas bag and I got this Merry Christmas from Hobby Lobby and it was on the clearance because the M is broke and it was only a dollar. So I knew I had to grab it and do something with this. And this is one of my favorite little Christmas gift bags and you just frame it and attach it and oh my gosh it's so simple you can even stain it if you want there's so many possibilities to take this and make it your own and it just oh my gosh it's such a cute little sign when you're done DIY number eight. I saw this on Pinterest and I wanted to recreate it using a Dollar Tree sign. And all you have to do is, um, it works better with a rounded sign and just make triangles. And I had to kind of measure my triangles um, a couple times just to get the right sizes. 
And once you have that done, that's probably the hardest part of this, <laughs> is getting those triangles correct. Then you can take an X-Acto knife and just start um, trimming it through and finish it off with scissors. And you can cut one of the Dollar Tree signs. Then I just used putty and paint and just made this come alive. It's again, unique, different, and I love having decor in my house and not everybody has. <laughs> so that's the great thing about DIYing. Um, you use your imagination, your style, your creativity to come up with imaginative decor that you don't find in the stores every day. Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. DIY number nine. This is another project that if you have some spare wood lying around, you can make some of the most beautiful wood and Christmas tree signs. Oh my gosh. All it took was some of this wood I had laying outside. I grabbed some walnut stain and gave this front, back, sides, everywhere. Good stain. And then I just came in with first a chalk paint pen and I just randomly drew three different Christmas trees. You don't need artistic ability to draw a Christmas tree. It's probably one of the easiest things to draw. I wanted the each wood to have a different style of Christmas tree. So once I did it with a chalk pen, then I went over it with a paintbrush and put these three together. And I absolutely love this wooden trio of signs. It's Christmas today All snow is falling down All the colored lights lighting up this town And as I walk outside Hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you Merry Christmas. 
DIY number 10. We all love that fresh baked pie served daily sign. So using a Dollar Tree sign, I thought it would be cute to make a fresh baked Christmas pies served daily. All you need is one of their signs or glass signs um, with no backing on it. You can take nail polish to get the words off and then paint it any way you want. And again, if you don't have a vinyl cutting machine, you can use stencils. Um, Dollar Tree sells stencils. They sell rub-on transfers or Michaels or Hobby Lobby, Walmart. You can pretty much get a Christmas stencil anywhere during that time of year. And I know you won't be able to find this exactly, but you can recreate it with stickers or rub-on transfers. And it's so cute to have out in your Christmas decor.
DIY number 11. This also is one of my favorites because I love Santa and I love me some coffee. And you put the two together, oh, that's just heaven, right? So I used a dollhouse table and a chalkboard sign from Dollar Tree. And I put a little bottle in front. I actually put real coffee on it and I just attached the two and I was done. And this would be great for a coffee bar or next to a tiered tray, um, next to a cocoa stand. I love this little Santa sign. It's so perfect and you can make it your own and use it for your style of Christmas decor. DIY number 12. This was an experiment at first, but turned out so stinking cute. I wanted to use Dollar Tree items to actually make a framed sign. And I didn't want to use Jungle Blocks and I didn't want to use Popsicle Sticks. <laughs> I wanted it to actually look like a framed sign. So I used two of these fall long Dollar Tree signs and then I used four of the box hollowed out like box signs and I'm going to use those as the frame and I just used mauve and pink and just gray and I wanted this just to stand out because I knew I was going to put white vinyl letters on it and then I just assembled it. I put those two pieces together, used popsicle sticks to attach it, and I put my frame together. And then on my vinyl cutting machine, I printed out the Christmas saying that I wanted. I attached it to the front, and I absolutely love how this sign turned out. Um, the saying I chose was, this home still believes, which I love that. And this just turned out to be a really cute Christmas sign.
DIY number 13 is another one that I had some spear wood lying around, so I decided to make a sign. Well, I actually made a sign in October for Halloween with some of these felt houses and ghosts. Then I flipped it over and I used those same houses to kind of use it as a stencil to make some cute little farmhouses for Thanksgiving to put out. So then I thought, well, let's go one step further and use it for Christmas as well. <laughs> so I used some felt snowmans and I just decorated this wood sign. This is very simple, very easy to do, and you can just um, use your imagination to do decorate these little snowmans whichever way you want. I painted their hats black. I added some buttons. I put a scarf. You could even make little carrot noses, like however you want to decorate. You could even put a little bit of snow falling. So this is just a really cheap and easy sign to make if you have some spare wood lying around the house. DIY number 14, my candy cane house, or my candy cane gingerbread house. So I always buy a little extra um, during the holidays, and I had, this was a haunted house um, for Halloween. So I thought, well, I'm not, I'm done making Halloween DIYs, so let's turn this into a candy cane gingerbread house. So I just used a bunch of items in my stash to make little candies, little presents, and I just let my imagination run wild and put it all together to make this cute little candy cane gingerbread house. I also had a candy cane box sign, and I used that as a base to attach the house to it. So stinking cute. I love gingerbread houses, and I thought this one turned out so cute. Couldn't tell you why. But 
DIY 15, 16, and 17. And this is just using very cute gift boxes that you can find. These came from the Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree sells them, Walmart sells them, Dollar General, Family Dollar. There's so many cute gift boxes. And I cut it down to size to fit everyday decor in my house. So I had these signs hanging in the bathroom. So I cut these gift boxes and just put them on top top of the sign no hot gluing no tape no nothing just cut them down so they fit in there and then you just pull them back out when you're done decorating easy peasy your decor on the wall is the same as it was before <laughs> and i'm going to show you a couple other ways how you can use these cute little gift boxes to update just simple decor that you have already in your house DIY number 18, I love making unique and different Christmas trees. So I grabbed a bunch of these Jot storage containers from Dollar Tree and I decided to turn them into a unique wire Christmas tree using different sizes, some wooden blocks to separate them and different colors. I created such a unique and different little Christmas tree for my Christmas tree collection.
DIY number 19 is my favorite Christmas sign that I've ever made. I absolutely love this Christmas sign. And I'm using an ornament sign from Dollar Tree, some scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby has so many cute, um, unique vintage designs and Christmas designs. And a lot of times you can get four for a dollar. So trimming it, I absolutely love the scrapbook paper. And I just mod podged it on the sign. And then I used um, twine to make little tassels. And once I had enough, I created a Christmas tree on the front of the sign with the tassels. Simple, easy, but the sign is beautiful and it's one of my favorites. DIY number 20. This is from my Kirkland inspired Christmas video. And I seen an ornament really similar to this one in Kirkland's and I just thought it would be fun to see if I could recreate it. So using a tin and just cutting it into pieces and then folding it accordion style and then grabbing some Christmas ribbon, I recreated this little metal ornament that I saw at Kirkland's for a lot less money. <laughs> DIY 21 is also from my Kirkland inspired video and it was this cute little mistletoe bucket that I saw there and I knew for sure I could get close to this one. So I used a bucket from Dollar Tree, some red paint, some black paint, and some window clings to recreate this little bucket that I saw at Kirkland's. DIY number 22 is also from that same Kirkland inspired video and I saw this cute little joy um, house ornament and this was so simple to recreate with one of the houses from Dollar Tree, some of their wooden letters and some beads. Real simple to recreate and get that Kirkland look for a lot less money. Christmas, all the happy 
DIY number 23 is also Kirkland inspired. Kirkland's has so much cute Christmas decor and some of them have a little hefty price tag. So this sign cost me $2 to make. <laughs> the wood came from Dollar Tree, the little trees. I think I got off of eBay um, and I just painted it and used Dollar Tree transfers. And I love the little better knot pout and I think this looks just like the one that I saw at Kirkland's. All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? DIY number 24 is also inspired by a Kirkland sign I saw. Now I didn't duplicate this one exactly um, because I just loved this peace sign and I knew I could create like a rustic country the wooden uh, sign or ornament using one of Dollar Tree's peace signs and this came out so cute I'm I just love rustic country so if you like rustic country you're gonna love this little sign DIY number 25 is sweater Christmas trees. You can find sweaters at thrift stores and I grabbed three that I really love the color or the design of them. And then I use wooden Dollar Tree ornaments to just trace the design onto the sweater. And then I used hot glue to attach the sweater to the ornament. And then I just attached it to little wooden pieces so that they would stand up. One of my subscribers recently watched this video and had the great suggestion that I could have gone one step further with this and used like yarn and a threading needle and put some um, threaded edges on it so it looked like stitching, which I just love that idea. So if you want to take this one step further, that's a great idea. Get some thread in a different color and put stitching all around the edges and it would really make these trees pop. This Christmas, I only wanna be smiles and the wishes and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe DIY number 26 is a simple to make calendar ornament using a little sign I got from Dollar General it was only a dollar some scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby and a little calendar the that came from Dollar Tree. The calendar was originally on like a little house and I just took it apart and then reconstructed it into this little wooden ornament. And I only used December and then you can do this as a countdown to Christmas or you can use it as a little calendar ornament for the month of December. Either way, so cute to put on a little Christmas tree.
open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. DIY number 27, a Dollar Tree Christmas tree. Dollar Tree sells these Christmas trees. They're only a dollar and they're just a little not full. <laughs> They're sparse. So I had the idea to put two together and then use the, um, and I still can't remember what these things are called. The Dollar Tree, I don't remember what they're called. They come in a little package and they're just branches. And I used those to attach the two trees together and to fill in the gap so you wouldn't see the middle. And then I used some of that spray snow to give it a flocking. I also used, um, a little bit of hairspray to keep that flocking on. And then the bucket out of my Kirkland inspired video, I put some floral foam and some Spanish moss and decorated my little Dollar Tree Christmas tree. And I love the way this turned out just for $2. DIY 28 and 29 are inspired by ornaments I saw at Walmart. And I wanted to recreate this ornament that I saw at Walmart. So I used this little wreath that I had and some yarn and one of the little trees that come in a package from Dollar Tree. This ornament was so easy to recreate and it's so cute and it does not cost hardly anything to make. I think this ornament in total might have cost me $2 and it was a lot of fun to recreate. The second ornament in this part, I'm gonna be recreating a snowman using some leftover pumpkins that I had from Halloween and some yarn to create the snowman to match this little wreath. Oh, yes, it's Christmas all around. All snow is falling down lights lighting up this town and as i walk outside hear the christmas choir sing merry christmas to you this time of year is a time to cheer let our Joy and laughter Let us make, Let us make memories, memories That stay Forever It's Christmas Today All snow is falling down All the colored lights Lighting up this town as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. DIY number 30. This is a blast from the past and you'll be able to tell. <laughs> this was one of my first videos. I started my channel in November and this video was probably done halfway through November. As you can see, I'm not in my craft room. I'm at my kitchen table. I don't have my lights, so it gets a little dark in this segment. <laughs> but I wanted to show y'all that Apothecary jars aren't just for Halloween. They have some really, really cute and funny um, labels that you can get online for Christmas. And you can just build these little apothecary jars to fit your labels. I have peppermint. I have Santa. 
deconstructed inside the jar, his clothes and snow. <laughs> you can have as much fun making Christmas apothecary jars as you can making Halloween. Now, this video, this was when I first started. It's so funny, a blast from the past year. So just bear with me. I know the lighting isn't the greatest, but the DIY still came out really cute. And these are a lot of fun to make. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Just come in to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time DIY number 31, are you naughty or nice? <laughs> I thought it would be cute to use jars from the Dollar Tree and put naughty on one and nice on the other, fill them with different colored jingle bells, and then have a sign to match the jars that said, are you naughty or nice? And this is just super fun. And you could have fun with this with your kids. If your kids are being a little brandy during the day, during the Christmas season, you can tell them, you go take a jingle bell and put it in the naughty jar. <laughs> or you can have that be a way to keep them on their best behavior during the Christmas season and take these little bells out. And every time they're good, have them add one or every time they're a little bit naughty, have them put them in the naughty jar. You can find all of these videos that I've kind of condensed down. Um, so this wasn't a 10 hour video <laughs> in my Christmas DIY playlist. 
and go check it out if you'd like to see the full version of all these videos. So DIY number 32 is a totem pole Christmas sign. And I got these little arrows from Dollar General, I think, and the plunger is from Dollar Tree. And then I just used one of those little clay pots that you can get at Dollar Tree. And I put it all together to make a little totem pole Christmas sign. If the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy To the ones who lost their hope DIY 33, 34, and 35. Those are little signs that you can get from Dollar General, and they were so vibrant. As you can see, they're only a dollar, and I just thought it would be cute to recreate and make something different out of them. I didn't want to change the original sign, that one, because these are so cute. So I decided to just use what I had and I made one into a box sign and I have the other two I set on these little Christmas doors that you can get from Dollar General as well. It's just taken items and putting them together just to make different and unique Christmas decor and how cute is that oh my goodness I absolutely loved it when I found these at Dollar General and I'm really hoping that they have them again this year as well
So DIY 36 to 41, we're almost halfway there, guys. Um, these are plastic snowflakes that you can get in a package. And I just thought it would be fun to take some Dollar Tree ornaments and add these plastic snowflakes to them and just create different snowflake ornaments. And now looking back at this, these are so cute, but I might have even gone a step further. Maybe on some of them added some Mod Podge, added some glitter um, or some flocking or fake snow or ribbons to them um just even take this a step further these turned out really really cute the way they are right now but i think they could have been even cuter just adding just a few more details to them DIY 42 to 46. It's amazing what a can of black spray paint can do. Dollar Tree had these amazing wired Christmas tree. They had these um, reindeers, this little votive holder Christmas tree. I just didn't care for the colors. So I spray painted them black. And just by doing that, made these 
pop. Oh my goodness. I put the original wreath back on it. As you can see, I had put it on the other side already. And yeah, you add one of the Dollar Tree changing color Christmas trees behind these and it is just a great addition to your Christmas decor. And all it took was a can of black spray paint to change these up. DIY 47 and 48. It is so much fun to make your own ornaments and I love the variety of different kinds of ornaments that you can get at Dollar Tree. These actually are two for a dollar so this is so affordable. And using some red and green raffia, I made a Christmas tree on one and Santa's belly with a belt on the other one. DIY number 50. The beach is my happy place. So I had to take a Dollar Tree ornament and put a little bit of the beach inside of it. 
I grew up in Michigan where we had very long, cold, snowy winters. And now that I live down south, oh my gosh, the I just absolutely love the beach. So all of these items came from Dollar Tree and you can make this kind of ornament any way you want. Just be a little careful because this these kind of ornaments tend to get pretty heavy <laughs> depending on how much stuff you put in it. DIY 51. I made this for a friend who had a grandbaby born last year. And this is so simple using the two for a dollar ornaments from Dollar Tree and some Dollar Tree beads. If a little girl has been born into your family, use pink. But this one was for a little boy, so I used blue. And all you gotta do is put some beads in an ornament, use a paint pen to write their name on it, and then pick out some little square beads and you can turn them into ABC blocks. It is the cutest little first Christmas baby ornament and it's so simple and easy to make. DIY number 52 is my version or my take on a snowball ornament. And again, using those ornaments from Dollar Tree and you can get this cute little guy from the automotive section at Dollar Tree. Cut it in half, use some hot glue and wrap that fluffy soft white around your ornament and you have the cutest snowball ornament ever for less than two dollars because we cut this in half ha <laughs> ha it was a dollar fifty <laughs> and then i even used the other half underneath some decor just for a snowy effect DIY number 53, I'm going to show you how I took some of these items I've already shown you in this video and decorated my tiered tray with them. I love, love, love these and I love those Christmas trees from Dollar Tree that change colors. <laughs> it's so cute. So in this part of the video, I'm just going to show you how I use some of those items to put on my tiered tray. I also want to take the time to say if you're still here, I absolutely love you to death <laughs> and I appreciate you. This is the longest video I've ever made, but it was so much fun to put together all of these different DIYs to show you guys in one video. So if you're still here, you are amazing. You're amazing. You are amazing <laughs> and I appreciate you so, so very much. This time of year uh, is a time to cheer. Let our love ones, our family, family and friends have a Christmas with so much love. And 
with joy and laughter Let us make memories that stay forever It's Christmas today All snow is falling down All the colored lights lighting up this town as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you DIY number 55 is handmade lollipops. You can do these so many different ways. This is actually clothesline from the Dollar Tree. And when I seen that it came in red and green, of course, I went Christmas. That's a lid from one of their containers and some doll rods. And you can do these any way you want. You could even if you didn't have like a big piece of wood like I'm showing you right now, you could use um, chalk or not. What is it? Um, cork board. What is that? I went blank. It's the board that you can buy at Dollar Tree and cut them into circles. <laughs> and you can do this with any type of material as well. You could do it with a mop. You could do it with twine. You could do it with ribbon. You could do it with yarn. I just thought this clothes hanger wire, or it's not wire, but clothes hanger cord um, just was so cute when I started wrapping it around and they made two of the cutest lollipops. And I think I'm going to make some more this year because I like the way these turned out.
DIY number 56 is salt and pepper shakers. And you can get these two for a dollar. So for a dollar and some paint, you have some really cute Christmas salt and pepper shakers. I use red paint. I painted on the outside and I did not go all the way up to the top because I wanted to make sure I did not get any paint anywhere near the opening so that I would be able to put salt and pepper in these. And then you can do these any way you want. I went for like Santa's um, outfit with a belt. Um, the only thing I would change on this is when I do the white squares, I would have outlined them in black and I forgot that step. <laughs> but you just make a square where on one of them you put an S, on the other one you put a P, and then you just make his belt. It's so simple and easy to do to have a set of salt and pepper shakers for Christmas. DIY number 57 is another one of my favorites and I went in the toy section at Dollar Tree and got these kitchen utensils. They are hollow on one side and I picked out the four utensils I like the best and I'm using cream chalk paint and given probably it took about three coats on each utensil and then you can just highlight the edges in black and you can write anything on the handles that you want. I opted for just Christmas words, you know, joy and those kind of words, but you can put anything you want on these. And I actually use these all year round because these are too cute to put away with my Christmas decorations.
DIY 58 is a thrift store flip using window clings. I had this sign that I had purchased from the uh, thrift store. I painted it and I grabbed my favorite window clings and all you gotta do is put a little Mod Podge on the back and you can put them anywhere on the sign your little heart desires. I opted to, even though mine kind of has an edge, I opted to go over the edge just for a unique, different effect instead of just staying within the box. But window clings are a great way to make DIYs for Christmas. I've said this many times, I love rustic country. So I turned this let it snow sign from the Dollar Tree into a more rustic country look. Just by taking the let it snow off the front and giving this a more wood finished look, I added stain to the let it snow so it would be more of a copper looking. And I just wanted a really cute rustic country sign. DIY number 60 is another way you can use Dollar Tree items and window clings to make a really cute farmhouse Christmas country sign and it's so easy to make. This sign for Christmas probably has one of my favorite bows that I've ever made on it. It's a layered bow at the top and it just ties it all together. This is so easy to make. You paint the sign any way you want with any colors you want and put your favorite win window clings on it add a bow and you have something that looks pretty high end for a dollar tree price well i'm all for christmas all the happy smiles and the wishes and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holidays Wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew 
This Christmas I only wanna be close to you Magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose. Moving nimbly. Did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. DIY number 61 is a Hobby Lobby clearance revamp. <laughs> I can love going to Hobby Lobby for inspiration, but sometimes the clearance section's the where you should go. <laughs> this was only a dollar because it was supposed to say Frosty, but instead of putting a Y at the end, they put an R. So that's what it was supposed to look like. And I had some wooden Christmas trees and some scrapbook paper, and I thought we could fix that little mistake by covering those blocks with different styled Christmas trees and keeping Frosty in the middle. So this sign actually ended up costing me about two let's say two dollars in materials and 50 cents worth of scrapbook paper and you have a totally new unique different sign that actually came from Hobby Lobby
What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. DIY number 62 is also from Hobby Lobby's clearance section. It's this gorgeous red Merry Christmas sign, but the M was broken. So I picked up this baby for a dollar as well. And we're going to hide that M with some floral and we're going to add a little snowflakes to it. And for a dollar, you have a beautiful Hobby Lobby sign. DIY number 63. I call this my everything but the kitchen sink at Dollar Tree sign. <laughs> I wanted to make a sign featuring crosses and like I said, I grabbed everything but the kitchen sink to do this. So using a bunch of materials and layering and layering and layering, I created a really, really cute sign that I ended up giving to my friend and she absolutely loves it. from 
Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. DIY number 64 is my miniature, the stockings were hung, little box sign. And I thought it would be cute to take this little box sign and some wooden stockings and create my little, the stockings were hung. We have a wooden sign that says that and it has nails in it. And that's where we actually hang our own stockings for Christmas. So I thought it would be cute to recreate this to be a mini sign. You will see me flying high I'm staring into your blue eyes We don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too
DIY 65 is a little box sign as well um, with a snowflake and I love using music paper and I absolutely loved this black music paper. So I just painted my box sign black, I added this, I put the snowflake in the center with a twine bow. Now I did burn the edges on this and if you're going to do this just be careful. You can only burn a little bit at a time so it doesn't get away from you and just use your fingers to put it out as you go and you get a really nice country you know edge to the paper and that's it so simple but i this is one of my favorite little mini signs DIY number 66, little marshmallow guys, <laughs> so cute. So I got these blocks from Dollar Tree and just by adding a little paint, you can print out the picture of the marshmallow guys um, and recreate their faces. They're so easy to recreate. A lot of people have these little guys on uh, hot cocoa mugs and they're so cute. But I thought these would be cute to put on these dice from Dollar Tree.
DIY number 67, acrylic poured ornaments. I, a couple of years ago, made over 200 ornaments for a friend's wedding. And these are glass. They came from Hobby Lobby. Um, I would make trips every day to Hobby Lobby to get them 40% off back when Hobby Lobby still offered that coupon. <laughs> and she had these sitting at the seats, everybody's seat as the gift for her guests. And these are a lot of fun to make. You can also do these on plastic ornaments. So the two for a dollar ornaments from Dollar Tree would work perfect. And in this video, I just showed you how adding multiple colors to the cups and doing it in groups of two and pouring it the same way and making like twinsies. So I, for two cups, six times, I was using the same pour but getting a different effect. And this is a lot of fun to do. So if you wanna see the full tutorial, go check out the acrylic poured Christmas ornament video in my playlist. DIY number 68. I have had this angel on top of my Christmas tree for probably over 20 years. And yeah, this is another blast from the past video. This is me when I first started my channel. We were on a camping trip for Thanksgiving 
and I decided to do a video for y'all. <laughs> so this is taking my old angel, just kind of tearing pieces apart, saving them to put back on, and making my angel more farmhouse Christmas country using ribbon and burlap. And I've used her for the last couple years. I absolutely love my country angel so much better than the other one. <laughs> and this is just a neat little video on don't you don't have to throw away your Christmas decor. You can always just change it and make it new and you'll fall in love with it all over again. DIY number 69 is a thrift store flip. I got this little rolling pin from Goodwill for 25 cents. And it had this awful flower sticking out of it, which also had an awful hole in it. <laughs> so I thought by painting it, filling the hole as best I could, and using a window cling on top of where the hole was, I could turn this into a really cute Christmas rolling pin.
DIY number 70. This is another thrift store flip with window clings. And this was a candle stand and a mirror from Dollar Tree. And I glued, glued them together, painted the top white, the base red, put a bow and a window cling on it. And I use this as a stand for my Christmas decor. I love window clings. Window clings are so much fun to DIY with and you can do so many different ideas with them. DIY number 71, another window cling. I'm going to show you how you can use window clings on Dollar Tree candles and turn them into Christmas candles. This works with any season and any window cling because what's nice about this is you pull it off after the holiday season and you can use a candle or you can put a different kind of window cling and use it for the next season. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the wind blows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family Making angels in the sand you Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my heart the last one, DIY number 72, rustic country little tray using a wooden dollar tray, tray, some stain on a window cling, and some more of that clothes wire in red and white. I made a little country tray for my Christmas decor. Wow, this video was so much fun to make. I love reminiscing. I wanted to always just make a video like this where I take every Christmas DIY I've ever done and put it all into one video for you all to enjoy at one time instead of having to click through them all and try to find them. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which one is your favorite and let me know what would be your favorite DIY for me to do for this Christmas season. If you're still here, wow, I'm amazed. I am so shocked. <laughs> I am so grateful <laughs> and you are my new best friend. <laughs> So, as always, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like what you saw, click that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications, and join the Kelly's Creations family. We are so much fun. I love y'all. I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful week. I can't wait to start DIYing for Christmas. I will see you guys soon. Bye, y'all. It will always be Christmas in my heart.
magic time You can feel it in the air That every child got their hearts filled up